Well, are you going to ask the question, who does who Antonio look most like in Hollywood? No, because we don't want to talk about characters. So, uh, what the hell? I'm not wearing that slave suit for you anymore. I'm not uh, shaving it either. So what? Hi there YouTube, I'm Craig here again with Bill and Antonio and we are the Social Vultures for a part two of the question that you had posed, what movie uh, throughout history would we like to be extras in? Yes. Or at least present for. Or at least you know, present in the last episode I brought up that it would be interesting to actually time travel back and do something like touch the Ark of the Covenant or if I could bring stuff back with me, actually bring it home. See the mechanical shark. Yeah, to, oh, see, to wow. see Bruce not <laughs> working <laughs> would be great. Bruce? Love that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, love that. Yeah, that would right. yeah. yep. uh, yeah, be great. Um, if I did have this time machine, though, I would be such a bastard, and I'd go back and just steal everything. Yeah, like it would oh, yeah. be. There'd be history. No, original books lightsabers. Written. Yeah, they'd be. There'd be history books. <laughs> and we have more interesting episodes too. <laughs> Bill, what do you got to show us tonight? This is the first yeah. lightsaber. <laughs> this is a thermal detonator. This is. Oh, there's so many things. We should hear. Well, time out that time machine and go back in time. Let's do that. Well, yeah. actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, because now we've, we've obviously put in a, a bit of a lighthearted spin on this question, because uh, originally we took it very seriously. Yes. Um, <laughs> but now I'm thinking of like you know all these shenanigans that uh, directors, producers, and the cast got into after shooting or before shooting or maybe even during shooting, and maybe some of those hijinks that you'd like to see or be a part of as well. What about you, Bill? What about you, Antonio? What do you think? Hijinks. Or even just craziness, just general craziness. You know, you can think of Apocalypse Now and like, yeah, you know? yeah. I'd go back and go about halfway through the shoot and just go up to Francis Ford Coppola and say, "Give it up. It's not worth it. Just go home." I think there's a great thing when uh, although it was worth it from Spartacus with the Lawrence Olivier, and he was known to overact Olivier, and he had to do one line, you know, where have you seen Spartacus? But he's like, "Have you seen Spartacus?" I think who was this a guy on <laughs> Lancaster was playing opposite. He looks at him and he goes, No! Oh, Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. And everyone just broke out laughing. Yeah. End of the shoot day. Like, don't, be, don't be so serious here, yeah. Lawrence. You know, yeah, but yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Like, that's funny stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. ground the guy a bit. It's one line. You don't gotta yeah. Yeah. be so precise. I, I, would, but, I would love to go back and for any of the filming of, of uh, Lawrence of Arabia, but I'd especially like to be there. To maybe be one of the guys on the horses when he's the no prisoners and they all yeah. oh that'd be something. But you know what was pretty symbolic, especially since it's no effects back then. It's literally a giant army of yes, people. that's right. In the desert on horses. Yeah. So and camels. In the so original, in the original Planet of the Apes, he had the you know the orangutans, chimpanzees, and the gorillas. And I was watching the documentary. Go. It got pretty eerie because at one point during lunch hour, you had the chimpanzee actors stolen. You know. Yeah. Sitting together. You had the orangutan sitting together. And you had the gorilla sitting together. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And he goes, there's some testings that sometimes you'd see, you know, station wagons full of these apes driving down, you know, Hollywood Boulevard, one after another. It's like, can you just imagine yeah. being there seeing yeah. gorillas yeah, in the car? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. You know, but, so, you know, it's just, it's just priceless stuff. You know, and how about the hard time that the actors would give George Lucas the first Star Wars? Because everything was, you know, just everything was that shot good, was that shot, you know, more, yeah. no, faster, more intense was his favorite thing to say. Faster, more intense. Yeah. Said, well, well, I'm just razzing George, but you know, he was under so much pressure. Smile, George, for Pete's yeah. sake. You know, yeah. and he literally put himself in the hospital too, George Lucas, because yeah. the stress he was under. It was but, all worth it. Well, uh, uh, apparently, know. when they were shooting, uh, I'm going to talk about a very obscure and very bad film, uh, but the, uh, the Street Fighter film that came out in, uh, I guess, the mid-1990s. Except for Raul Julia. Raul Julia. Oh, that movie. he was... Yeah. Well, carry on, on, carry on. Yeah, I know, right? I know, I know. Um, I think I've actually mentioned this before to you, Antonio, but uh, it was just utter madness, you know, during the entire shoot for that movie. You know, they were somewhere in Southeast Asia. I yes, think. yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just for, for even... Not just the main characters and, and, and the main cast like uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, I mean, but everybody got into the partying. There was booze, there was drugs, there was everything. So much debauchery going on, you know, and again, the, the one island of sanity was apparently uh, Real, uh, sorry, uh, Raul Julia. Julia. Um, but uh, I, I gotta be honest, uh, hanging around in Southeast Asia with Jean-Claude Van Damme and uh, having, you know, just lot, lots of uh, probably sex, drugs, uh, food, you know, so my three favorite uh, topics. And probably splits. Yeah. There would have been yeah. a lot of splits. Going. That's right, yeah, yeah, because that was his thing. 
Oh, yeah. Van Damme again? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> That's hey, look, between six. two fridges. Yeah, we've seen yeah. that before. <laughs> 16 splits tonight. Oh. <laughs> Even going back to the first 2001. You yeah. Know, just to be, you know, because that was oh, groundbreaking yeah. too. Yeah, 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 actually, actually, that's another one that I'd go that back is. just to watch. Just to, Although, from what I've heard, it wouldn't have been too much fun to watch. <laughs> just do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Do I've it again! I tried to watch that film, no disrespect to Kubrick, but oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love <laughs> Guys, you know, carry on, but there's so much more, like, you know, even going, seeing those sets, like the 2001 yeah. sets, yeah, they were so, especially the rotating set, oh, yeah. to actually yeah. be there and see it, like, yeah. that would be incredible. Go, you know, touch again, go back to the future. Yeah. Just yeah. be near that DeLorean. The, the sets on the original Alien. Mm -hmm. Of the yes. inside of the Nostromo. Yep. Yeah. Like, it'd be amazing. That won't be outside of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> These guys... Oh. Big wooden frame, just for everyone rocking the lane, probably yep. back and forth. Actually, port. being in the interior sets. Oh gosh! I remember yeah. the stories of um, of uh, Kevin Smith visiting the set of Force Awakens. He was one of the first people to visit, oh, and he said guy. that he said that he got to walk up onto the set, yep. and he said he walked up the ramp and went inside oh. the Millennium Falcon, and he said he literally felt like crying. Oh, Kevin Smith! Because he, yeah. he said like I'm in the Millennium Falcon, and I'm like, like I'm getting teary thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. how about being there? This is going back now, but it's so classic. When the Blues Brothers were destroying that mall. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, it'd be Absolutely. Fun to watch that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, and that mall, I run. Yeah. That, that right. car it's funny, you know, when you bring up car chases and everybody brings up Bullet and everybody brings up The Vanishing and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, gone in 60 seconds. And it's like. For my money, Blues Brothers had one of the best car chases oh gosh, of all yeah. the time. Yeah, that chase through Chicago. So you know, many oh, yeah. cars. You get so many, yep. It's crazy. Yep. And how great was John, you know, God bless him, it was John Candy, that movie. Oh, yeah. Amazing. You know, and just, and Everybody was amazing. That movie is just... And so crazy. many small cameos, too. If you go back yeah, and watch... We could do a whole episode oh on my, John Landis. Oh, my... But the Blues Brothers, just the small cameos by people. Carrie Fisher was in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's I like, loved her, her, her role. She you know. Great. But say jilted X, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the M16. Yeah, what a poor girl waiting for Dan Aykroyd at the hotel. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. brilliant. You know, you know and, all, and all this stuff. You know, and like you said, we always do this, guys. We want one can of worms. Yeah, you know, and we end on John Landis. God bless John Landis. I love him. You know, start making more movies, John. I know. You know What's we don't need move. We got enough guys. Do let Bill do the movie reviews. You go back and make your movies. Yeah, yeah, we you know? miss you. But saying that. We're going to miss you till next time. So for John Landis, Max Landis, and George Lucas. We're hey, just, I got the beard. I'm better looking. We are the social vultures. And may the force be with Bill. I'm George Like Lewis. that. Good love it. I've got a truckload. And when you get it, you got some.